Alright you guys, yes, I'm wearing a Kylo Ren mask. Why? Because I can. Alright, and this is a Star Wars related video. Now, I'm not starting my Star Wars reviews until December, right before Force Awakens comes out. But I thought it would be fun because I've never done one of these videos before. And it's such a huge anticipated movie where we've just been able to speculate this whole time. Uh, let's make some predictions on Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Yeah, let's, let's do that first. So, there's... I think I'm going to wear a mask the whole time. Alright? Because why, why the fuck not? Alright? I, I want to be Kylo Ren. I mean, I really, really wanted to be Darth Vader, but... You know. Um, anyway, so let's make some predictions on Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, these are my personal predictions. And I know a lot of other people have the same theories and the same predictions. So, um, but based on everything I've seen and stuff, this is what I believe is what's going to happen or probably going to happen and then we can revisit this video next month after force awakens comes out and see how uh you know accurate or inaccurate that i actually was in my star wars predictions so <clears throat> we haven't okay we've actually seen a lot of the movie so far but then again we haven't we really know nothing about the story we know a couple of the characters we barely know anything about their background we uh, we kind of know we can kind of piece together a little bit of what may be going on, but it's Star Wars and it's J.J. Abrams, and they're keeping this movie under tight lock and key. So I mean, who really knows what's going on except for you know them? Um, so let's talk about some things. I'm not really gonna do in any specific order, but all right, let's talk about some of the new characters first. All right, um, so. Uh, let's talk about Finn first. Finn is, like, at first, when he was first cast in the movie, I'm like, what, the kid from Attack the Block? I, I, I don't know about this. But the more I see of John Boyega, like, behind the scenes stuff, he's a really enthusiastic Star Wars fanboy. And this makes me happy because we have a huge fan of the movies actually in one of the movies. You know he's going to give it his all. I have no doubt in my mind he's going to give a great performance. That's not what I was worried about. What I was worried about is if is if I'm going to like the character of Finn. And like I said, the more I see of him in the trailers, the more I like him a lot. So I really think Finn is going to be a really cool character. Obviously, he's going to be one of the main characters of at least this first one. I think he's going to carry on through the whole new trilogy, episode 7, 8, and 9. Um, yeah, I, I think he'll be there through all three of the new ones. Um... As for, you know, his last name and who his family is and stuff like that, a lot of people are saying maybe he's Lando's son. Maybe. Maybe. I, 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 I don't really... I, I think... Uh, I'm going to say there's a 43% chance that he's Lando's son. Uh, I, I, I think there's some definite possibility there. Um, but... I, I just don't know. I don't... Part of me doesn't think so, but part of me does think. That maybe that's who he is. Maybe he's a son of Lando's. Maybe he never met his father. Or maybe he has met his father. Um, a lot of people are speculating, okay, well maybe this guy is... He worked for the First Order as a stormtrooper, but it just wasn't working out. He doesn't want to be a part of that anymore. And that's when he joins uh, the light side. You know, he meets Rey which I'll talk about in a minute, and he, you know, he gets his lightsaber as we've seen and all that, um, and he starts to become like a Jedi in training in this first movie. That's what a lot of people are thinking, and at first I was like, maybe he's a Jedi who's going in, like he's playing both sides as he's going in to infiltrate the First Order, you know, maybe you find out their dirty little secrets and stuff like that, but again, the more I see, the more I start to believe that, okay, he used to be in, in the First Order, but he just wants to get out. And this makes Kylo Ren pissed, which is why we see that brief shot of them in the forest, uh, you know, getting ready to fight. Uh, I think Kylo Ren's pissed at Finn for trying to switch sides like that and stuff like that. And he obviously did something to him. So, um, yeah, I, I think Finn joining or uh, being a stormtrooper in the First Order and then wanting to get out, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Let's talk about Rey. Rey is obviously another one of our main characters of this new movie. And again, I think she's going to carry through the whole new trilogy as well. 
who's played by Daisy Ridley in the movie. And Daisy Ridley is somebody I don't know anything about. I haven't seen her in anything that I can recall. And she seems cool. Like, again, she was one of those people that are like, I don't know if I'm going to be into that character. But I, the, the more I see of her, the more I like her. So, now a lot of people... This is where a lot of the theories seem to be split. But it's always split between two different theories. A, she's either Han and Leia's daughter, or she's Luke's daughter. I'm on the side that believes that she's Luke's daughter. Because there's a couple shots... Like, like that shot in uh, the last trailer, the last American trailer, not, not the international one that just came out, but there's a shot in the last trailer that, um, you know, she kind of gives that look when that thing's going off in, in, into space and stuff like that, and it's like, yeah, she's definitely a Skywalker. And, you know, she kind of reminds us of that little farm boy that we met in 1977 by the name of Luke. Um, so I think they're definitely going to pay homage to that. I think this is, obviously it is going to be the old passing the torch on to the new. That's what this movie is going to be. Um, but yeah, I'm on the side that believes that Rey is Luke's daughter. But I also think that there's a really good chance that she may not, not, she may not know who she is when she says, uh, you know, when uh, Lupita Nyong'o's character in the voiceover says, Who are you? And she goes, I'm no one. Um... There's a couple possibilities just with that one line there. Either she knows exactly who she is and she's like, I'm not telling you shit. Or she really doesn't know who she is or where she comes from. Maybe if she is Luke's daughter, I don't believe she's ever met her father. I think if it turns out that she is, you know, kin of Luke, that she's never met Luke in her life. I mean, maybe she did when she was a baby and then something happened to where she was separated. Like, maybe she was going to be... You know, too strong with the Force, and Luke's like, no, I need to separate you and put you into hiding. So, you know, the Empire, the First Order, as they're called now, won't be able to find her. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I think Rey is Luke's daughter. Not Han and Leia's, Luke's daughter. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about Luke in a minute here. Um, let's see. Kylo Ren... Obviously, as you can tell, I'm loving everything I'm seeing with Kylo Ren right now. Um, and the whole the whole Knights of Ren thing and everything that's going on with that. That's probably what I'm most excited for of this movie, to be honest with you, is the Kylo Ren stuff. Um, now, Kylo Ren, a lot of people are, you know, pretty much everybody seems to be thinking that Kylo Ren is the son of Han and Leia. And I, I yeah, I, I, I will agree with that. I will say that... Kylo is the son of Han and Leia, and then Rey is the daughter of Luke. And obviously there's family there. A lot of people are saying that they're brother and sister. I don't think so. I, I do think they're cousins. Because in that shot in that international trailer where Kylo Ren, uh, if you haven't seen the international trailer, it's not a big spoiler alert, but when Kylo Ren has the lightsaber up to Rey's face, he could easily kill her right there. I don't think he, obviously I don't, I don't think he does. But he could easily kill her right there. Why doesn't he? Because he knows, he knows that they're family. Now, whether they're cousins or brother and sister, that will be determined next month. But, yeah, I personally think they're cousins. I know a lot of people are saying that they're the Solo Twins, or at least a version of the Solo Twins, um, from the Expanded Universe. I think there's a good possibility, but I think there's a better possibility that, yeah, like I said, Rey is Luke's daughter, and Kylo is Han and Leia's daughter. Um, now, why... Uh, Kylo exactly goes to the First Order. Why does he decide to join the dark side? I don't know. There's really nothing for me to speculate on that, on what makes him go to the dark side at one point in his life. We, we simply don't know yet. Um, let's talk about some of the droids, all right? Because obviously we have C-3PO and R2-D2 back in this movie. And, you know, they're kind of like, uh... They're the ones that have been in all six of the movies. Yes, even the prequels, they were in them too. So, they're the one that's, in a way, they're carrying the whole story. You know, they were there through everything. You know, when they met Anakin, when Anakin was a successful, badass Jedi, when Anakin turned to the dark side, when the babies were born, when the babies were separated, when the babies grew up and they found each other and they saved each other, and when... Uh, you know, Luke and Leia defeated the Empire and everything like that. You know, C-3PO and R2-D2 were there for 
all of it. They, they were there for generations, and they're back in this one now for this new generation. Now, if you look closely in one particular still image that came out, and there's a shot in the trailer of this as well, C-3PO has a red arm. Now, let's talk about C-3PO's red arm in this one. Uh, what happened there? Apparently, if you read some of the books, which I have not read any of the books that are considered canon, um, I, I, I just haven't read them, but I do like kind of hear updates and stuff of what kind of happened in those books. And I guess in one of those books, there is an explanation of how C-3PO got the red arm. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they'll kind of uh, mention what happened to his arm in The Force Awakens just for the people who, you know, may not have read the books. But, you know, the books were, are canon now. The, it happened. But I think they'll just mention it because I'm, I'm sure somebody will ask, Hey, 3PO, what happened to your arm? And I'm sure he'll, he'll mention something very, very quickly. Like a one line of dialogue part of that. Um, R2-D2... Uh, there's really not much I can say about him because, you know, he looks about the same. I don't know what's going to happen with R2-D2, so, you know, there's really not much we, we could say about that cute little droid right now. But let's talk about another cute little droid. <coughs> Anyways, let's talk about another droid, BB-8. And BB-8 is this new droid who, he kind of looks like a volleyball with a small little head on top of him and he's or i guess she i guess they're saying that uh bb-8 is is a female which is cool um but yeah i guess sh you know sh she's the one that's been following ray around in the trailers i think bb-8 is going to steal the show i i do sure kylo ren's gonna be badass finn's gonna be badass ray's gonna be a badass because it'd be great seeing all the old characters back again but i think bb-8 that's going to be what the kids are going to really like from this movie. Like, any of the kids that go to see this are going to come out being like, I want a BB-8. Hell, I want a BB-8. That thing's so fucking adorable. Um, and I, I can't wait to see her in action. And it looks like that she's going to be, you know, a part of the action a little bit. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but let's talk about some of the old characters coming back. I already mentioned C-3PO, R2-D2. But Chewbacca is coming back. Yeah, that's right. A couple trailers ago... We heard Han say, Chewie, we're home. Um, I can't do a good, you know, Harrison Ford and Chewbacca. Maybe I can without the Kylo Ren mask on. I don't know. But, yeah, obviously, Chewie's in this movie, and the international trailer looks like he's blowing up something. A lot of people are saying he's sacrificing himself right there. Like, that's when, like, Chewie dies. I don't think so. I think he's just, you know, blowing shit up, you know, like a badass, because, you know, he's fucking Chewbacca, and he can do that shit. So, yeah, I, I am not really worried about, you know, that's the scene where Chewbacca dies and they gave it away in the trailer. No, I, I don't think that's what that was at all. So I'm kind of just throwing that one out the window right now. Obviously, Han Solo is back. Now, Han Solo looks in like he's going to be a main character, and we I was a little surprised on that. I mean, we all knew Harrison Ford was coming back in this movie and stuff like that, so I'm not surprised to see him in any of the trailers. I'm surprised of how much we're getting of Han Solo in particular. Like, out of, out of the original trio, Luke, Leia, and Han, Han is the one that we are seeing the most of. And it's obvious that Han is going to be a big, important part of the story of The Force Awakens. He's going to be... He's going to be the guy passing the torch, you know? He's going to be being like, oh, I'm the old, you're the new, here you go. That's, that's going to be Han Solo in this movie. Now, whether Han Solo dies or not, I believe yes. Yes, I, I do believe Han Solo will not make it uh, by, by the end of this one. I, I don't think he's going to be carrying into Episode Eight or anything like that. Because um, if you guys know... In Episode 6, in Return of the Jedi, you know, Harrison Ford asked George Lucas to ask the writers if they would kill Han Solo off. In, like, this really heroic way, you know, sacrificing himself to save the galaxy. And it didn't happen. I guarantee you that that was part of the deal of getting Harrison Ford back in this movie. Is they're saying, okay, Harrison Ford, you're going out in this one, but you're going out like a badass. Harrison Ford said, yes, I'll do it. And you can tell... Harrison Ford is really glad to be back as Han Solo. He's very excited. 
And when he was doing that thing of Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel asked him, he's like, well, aren't you glad he didn't die? And he kind of pauses for a second. And he says, yes, of course I'm glad I didn't die. Because I, I believe that's because he's going to die in this one in exactly, maybe not exactly the way he wanted, but pretty close to how he wanted to go in Return of the Jedi. So yes, I do believe, unfortunately, I think Han is a goner in this one. And it sucks. But uh, hey, you never know. Because a lot of people are saying Chewie dies because there's that shot of Rey. And, you know, she's looking down in like pain and shit. Because obviously it looks like there's a dead body right in front of her. Some people are saying it's Chewie. Some people are saying it's Han. I don't think it's Chewie. I think it's Han. And, uh, you know, I believe Chewie, I, this is what I think. I believe Chewie may be severely injured in this movie. And if that is Chewbacca laying down on the table there, I don't think he's dead. I think he's severely injured to where it looks like that he's dead. And that's why Rey is crying or something like that. Or maybe that's Han right there. I, I, I believe it's Han, but there is a possibility it could be Chewie. Chewy, but I don't think Chewy is going to die in this movie. I don't. Um, and then, of course, in that same shot, when she's looking all sad and shit, she kind of looks up, and while there's tears coming out of her eyes, there's that look of hope. Like, hope is here, and stuff like that. Well, who is hope, you might ask? Well, let's go to Star Wars Episode Four, or as it was titled in 1977, just Star Wars. But now Star Wars Episode Four, A New Hope. Well, a lot of people said... Well, Obi-Wan Kenobi was their only hope. No, Luke Skywalker was the hope in that movie. So when she's looking up and it's that look of hope, I think it's Luke Skywalker right there. Now let's talk about Luke Skywalker. We have seen nothing. We, the only thing we have seen of Luke Skywalker in this movie is one image on the set that got leaked months ago. And it, I, I'm pretty sure most of them were all taken down unless you were smart enough to save it onto your phone or laptop or whatever. But I'm pretty sure that image is going to be hard to find now. But that is the only shot we've seen of Luke. And that was on set. And it wasn't like in the setting. And they have not shown us anything of Luke. He's not on any of the posters. He's not in any of the trailers. Um, well, I think it's his hand in that one trailer where he's touching R2-D2 with his robotic arm. I believe that's Luke. But, you know, we never actually see a front, you know, look of Luke Skywalker. J.J. Abrams says it's no accident. There's a very good reason why you're not seeing anything about Luke Skywalker right now. And a lot of people are saying, well, this is the Looking for Luke movie. The whole movie, they're going to be searching for Luke. I kind of believe that. I kind of don't. He hear me out for a second here. Um, I believe that they will find... A lot of people are saying Luke won't come in until the last act of the movie. Like, towards the end of the movie. I disagree with that. I believe... They'll find Luke, or Luke will come into the movie at the halfway point of the film. I don't think, like, because there was, they said, you know, all, all the toys that are coming out, they're all from the first third of the movie. And I'm starting to believe that's what that's with the trailers, too. I believe everything we've seen from the trailers is from the first third of the movie. So if that's true, there's two-thirds of the movie we have seen nothing from. I believe Luke Skywalker is a part of that. And I believe Luke Skywalker will come in at the halfway point. Not the third act, the halfway point. And, you know, he'll just start being a bad I think either either it's going to be this. His appearance, like when he first shows up on that screen, obviously all his fans are going to go nuts. But I think it's going to be either A, when Rey is, uh, you know, crying and she's looking up and she sees that, you know, she kind of has that face of hope. Either he's walking in right there or... It's that scene when Finn and Kylo Ren are fighting in the forest and Finn is just getting his ass kicked. Kylo Ren's about to kill him. Then all of a sudden, Luke Skywalker walks in and starts, you know, kicking the crap out of Kylo Ren. Because Kylo Ren, no matter how badass he is, he is not ready for a fight with Luke Skywalker, motherfucker. <coughs> no. He's not ready for a fight with Luke. So I think it's either going to be one of those two points where Luke comes in. Um, let's talk about Leia. We've seen a little bit more of Leia, you know, a little, lately. And uh, obviously I think Leia will be an important part of this movie. Sure. Um, but I think from what we've seen so far, it kind of suggests that maybe Leia is just going to be in the background. But she got her own character poster. She did. And she, like, obviously Captain Phasma and them, they're going to get their own too. 
Um, but the, the part of the first four or five that were released, Leia was one of them. I think it's pretty safe to say she's got a more important role than we initially all thought. So whether what she's doing in there, I'm not sure. I believe she is one of the leaders of the resistance that Poe Dameron is a part of. And that's another thing, Poe Dameron, I believe he's really cool and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of people are saying, well, hey, maybe Rey isn't connected to anybody. Maybe she's not Han, Leia, or Luke's. Um, I, a couple reasons. One, um, Kathleen Kennedy, who is running Luke, the Lucasfilm division over at Disney right now, says that the episodes, you know, episodes, you know, one through episode seven and stuff like that, those are the Skywalker story. Those movies are about the Skywalkers. So, obviously, it's about Finn, which I really don't think he's a Skywalker. It's possible, but I, I would say 6%. 6. That's it. And even 6% is pushing it. So, obviously, I believe Rey is, is the Skywalker. It's going to be, you know. Um, and then, when Han Solo in, in the trailer says, it's true. All of it. The dark side, the Jedi, it's all real. Obviously, this was a guy who 40 years ago said, Look, I've been to the end of the galaxy and back, and I've never once seen anything that makes me believe that there's one all-powerful force out there controlling it. That's that guy. 40 years later, now he's like, it's true. All of it. Uh, so, you know, that's cool to see that Han has, you know, he's, he's changed a little bit, but he's still going to remain the same Han Solo that we all know and love. Uh, I really hope, obviously there's that scene with Leia kind of on his chest looking very, very sad. What's happening there? I don't know. Um, you know, maybe she believes that, you know, Han, there's a possibility that Han might not make it out of this alive, and that's why she's kind of crying and, you know, hugging on him like that, maybe. Uh, or maybe they've been divorced for a while. We don't know. Um, I, I, I'm leaning more towards the, okay, I have a feeling you're not making out of this alive. So, by the way, I really hope, I don't think they will because I think it'll be, I think it'll feel a little forced, no pun intended. But, um, I really hope that they throw in an, I love you. I know. Either, I, either way, I really hope they throw that in there because you know, you know, they said it. To each other in Empire. They said it to each other in Jedi. Now it's 40 years later. They have obviously were married if they're not still married. I believe that that's how they always told each other how, how they love each other. One of them says I love you. The other one always replies with I know. How great would that be? Uh, so yeah. Let's talk about some of the other characters. Captain Phasma. Obviously she's going to be a badass. I think she'll carry over to at least episode 8. I think there's a possibility she'll die in episode 8, but we're not talking about that one right now. I think she'll survive episode 7. Um, and then, of course, we have Andy Serkis in this movie. We have seen nothing of Andy Serkis. We know he's playing uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. A lot of people are saying that Snoke is actually Darth Plagueis. I believe that. I do. Um, there's something that my gut is telling me that Snoke is actually Darth Plagueis. If not, that's cool, but... I, I don't know. I really think he is Darth Plagueis. So I am going to go with that one. I'm going to agree with everybody on that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm really excited for this movie, if you can't tell. Next month, of course, I'll be reviewing all six episodes. Yeah, episode one through episode six. And, of course, episode seven. But, yeah, look out for those reviews. But right now... Uh, you know, this month is coming up. We got the new Hunger Games coming out. We got my most anticipated movie of November. Creed is coming out. So obviously, I'm going to be review people of you might be wondering if I'm going to review those or not. Yes, I am going to review all the Rocky movies leading up to Creed. So yeah, um, what are your some of, what are some of your guys' predictions on the movie? I think I've pretty much covered everything that I can think of right now. Um, so yeah. Comment your thoughts, your predictions on what you think is going to happen in The Force Awakens. I think it'll be fun to do a video like this. Maybe I'll do more for like the big... Maybe I'll do one for Batman vs. Superman or Suicide Squad or something like that. Something else big. Civil War would be another good one to do it for. But, yeah. Um, I thought it would be fun to make a predictions video. And then when the movie comes out, we can come back and revisit it and see how right or how wrong I am. Um, so, yeah. What do you guys think? 
Comment down in the video below. Like the video, share, and subscribe. Just do it!